Greetings, stars. We're going to go ahead and get into channeling this energy, okay? Uh, there is a slight imbalance here, okay? You may be focusing on standards at this time. For some of you, you may be into broadcasting or something was broadcasted, okay? Past, present, or future, we're going to say. So we're talking about affirmations, okay? So uh, this could be self-affirmations, all right? Uh, for some of you, a wishbone is significant. Maybe you were making a wish here, okay? Uh, I feel like this is going to bring you some sort of clarity, okay? So this is about something that's heartfelt, whether if it's business, uh, pleasure. For some of you, this is about an engagement. You can show me what it is I need to see, okay? So for some of you, you may be connecting with your spiritual spouse, okay? Or you're on that road. Okay, so we got footprints. We're talking about directions. Footprints in the sand is significant. Part of fortune, we're talking about increase, increase in finances, increase, increase in whatever it is that, you know, you're going to resonate with this, but you're going in the right direction. So this is a faded situation. So at the right time, you need to make the right decision. Okay. And for some of you, this requires you taking accountability and or responsibility. Travel is significant. All right. I'm, I'm here in northbound. Okay, some of you, you may be going to the south or the past is significant. Maybe you're uh, affirming something, a wish, something that was presented to you in the past, maybe in the spiritual realm. Yeah, so this is about finances and our love. Okay, take it how it resonates. So this is about your perception, how you perceive a message. Okay, yeah, this is what I'm picking up, like broadcasting here. Your black moon, Lilith, could be significant. You can show me what it is I need to see. Okay, so we're definitely talking about uh, like remembering the past. Okay, remembering for some of you, this could be past life, uh, but this could be like a separation of assets for a new beginning. You know something, okay, or somebody may be fearful that you know something. Take it how it resonates here. Scorpio Sag is significant, could be two different individuals, but that tells me this is a cusp reading. Either show me what it is I need to see. So messages are significant. Footprints, okay? Could be a blueprint as well. So yeah, we got the Black Moon Lilith. So you may be picking up on some sort of projection, all right? Or, you know, maybe somebody is projecting their insecurities on you or vice versa. This has something to do with uh, creativity, all right? Something close to home. Uh, this could be speculations, okay? Somebody may be speculating that it's something wrong. All right, so for some of you, this has something to do with divination, okay, and a change in direction. Uh, for some of you, you know, I'm not going to lie, this is about uh, finances, all right? Your finances increasing if you go in the right direction. All right, let's see. You can show me what it is I need to see. Some of you, you may be receiving notifications, all right? 10 years may be significant. You can show me what it is I need to see. For some of you, you are in a relationship, okay? So, it, I mean, this could be like a, a friends with benefits relationship, okay? You may have learned a lot. I feel like this person may have provoked you, okay? So for some of you, you may have a, a fear of commitment. I feel like there's somebody projecting something on your uh, investments here. This is something that is hidden. Pisces moon could be significant. You can show me what it is I need to see. Somebody's into some sort of divination and or uh, occult studies, okay? This is somebody that may be a beginner. This is about knowledge here, knowledge of the hidden. Either show me what it is I need to see. Okay, for some of you, this may be something that is uh, in the future. So you may need to, for some of you, you, you need to address your, your issues, your shadow. But I feel like going forward, you're going to figure out who was all in the plot, Okay, so this is about ascension. Uh, sixth dimension is significant. So there's some sort of aggressive energy coming from somebody that may be doing some bippity boppity do bippity boppity boo. All right, um, yeah. So this could be about a divine masculine or this is you. I feel like you are in a situation with somebody that is a soul contract, okay? And so you may not be aware that going forward, you're going to run into some obstacles. This surrounds a message, maybe a, a message that maybe you may have uh, kept on read. Either show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, so this is a message that you kept on read. So 
I mean, it's no, there's no, no secret here. Some of you, somebody in this situation is celebrity here. There's a cycle that's not complete. We're talking about red tape. So I feel like there's some sort of documentation that you have with this person. Okay. Some sort of legality here. All right. So Aquarius, I'm here in rare form. Somebody could be Aquarius moon. All right. For some of you, this is somebody that you have a project with. This is about a, um, a vision, something for the future. So I feel like your finances is mixed in with uh, your career. I mean, well, yeah, your finances, your career and your love life. People may be speculating about that. For some of you, this could be somebody that's the same gender. OK, so, yeah. So you may be collaborating or people are collaborating against you with someone that has surface knowledge here. This is somebody that can't see uh, beneath or around the veil, okay? So this may be someone that has like knowledge of occult studies here. You may not know that this person participates, participates in like the unknown, okay? So this could be somebody trying to block your vision. All right, for some of you, your vision may be blocked, okay? You could be in a dark place or the Cursed Valley is significant. So we're definitely picking up on the energy of elect ones. Some of you, you may be dealing with a chosen one or somebody is figuring out what they're chosen for. Or you may be figuring out what this person is chosen for. There's a contract here. I'm here null and void. Okay. Deficit is significant. So we got the lovers. All right. So for some of you, this is a partnership, like a marriage, something that is contractual. OK, but for others of you, this is like a belief system, an outdated belief system that's causing you some form of an imbalance here. All right. You could be this child's mother or this is about a child's mother, maybe even the way you were raised. OK, so I feel like somebody's in a dark place. You can show me what it is. Are they wanting to put you in one? Oh, affirming. What, what are we affirming here? You can show me what it is I need to see. This is about you using your intuition. Tower, Aquarius energy. Somebody's trying to divert something. Okay. This could be somebody that does not want something to end or somebody's trying to change something. Change? Change something. Excuse me. So we got Pisces and Scorpio energy. All right. For some of you, you know, you don't necessarily have to be a Pisces or a Scorpio. This is somebody whose perception caused them to make a bad decision. Okay. So if this is an investment, this is something that's not going to grow. All right, but for some of you, this is like an outdated belief system. I'm hearing something about uh, dreams coming true. So that is significant for you or somebody involved in this situation, okay? But I feel like somebody didn't take accountability in the past, and that's why we have the Uranus here. It's showing up as a tower, okay? So this, so this could be a, a lesson that is not learned. You may be nervous to present something or say something is also what I'm getting. Somebody was trying to oppress you. All right, you may be refusing to speak to this person. Uh, in the past, this may have been your wish fulfillment, but this is like a business here. There was a change in direction, or you, or something was missed here. I'm hearing it by the skin of your chinny chin chin. I don't know. So we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is somebody that you're passionate about. Okay, but for some of you, something needs to be released. Some sort of stronghold could be a contract that you are in. So we got the Emperor. Aries, Taurus, could be Taurus. Aries, Taurus, okay, you could be a Cus or you could be a Scorpio. You may be realizing something. We got Leo here, and then we got Scorpio, uh, Scorpionic uh, energy. For some of you, you may need to get your birth chart, okay, because you could be operating out of your Black Moon Lilith, your Moon, your uh, Ascendant, aka Rising Sign is significant, okay, possibly even your North Node. If you're on the right track, your North Node should resonate at this time. So in the past, you were dealing with somebody, okay, that you had some sort of contract with. For some of you, it's a marriage and or a business here. There may be children involved in this situation, okay? You can show me what it is. For some of you, you're looking at a message or avoiding sending a message, okay? And that may, that may be making someone angry. We got the strength card, Leo, and then we got cancer. Somebody could be on the cusp uh, of cancer, or well, Leo and cancer here. Something is backwards, Okay, so somebody's getting angry at something that somebody's being appointed to. Okay, this could be a victory. This could be traveling here. Somebody may be upset that you're not traveling towards them or returning their messages. Okay, so yeah, we got Scorpio Sag energy with transformation. 
uh, somebody's being lifted or guided out of a dark place. You may be going in a different direction or you may be getting redirected. Either show me what it is I need to see. Uh, you may be realizing that somebody's not going to change. Okay, grain fog is significant. This is somebody that was projecting some negative energy on you or this is you. Either show me what it is I need to see. For some of you, there's a soul-to-soul -soul connection here. You may not realize this or, or understand uh, how this has come to pass or come to be. To show me what it is I need to see. So uh, going forward here, this is about ascension. So if you want things to change, your finances and or your love life, you have to ascend. That means you have to go to another, uh, another dimension of the mind, okay, or another place. Okay, to fulfill a contract or fulfill a need. Either show me what it is. Somebody's worried about their own needs here. Okay, yeah. So, you could be dealing with a uh, your spiritual spouse. Okay, this is somebody that's a throne, a uh, elect one. But for some of you, you are uh, like, you could be combining energies with someone that is low vibrational. So, the message is not getting to you clearly. So you may be getting guided to move forward. Travel is significant. So make sure to check out your Black Moon Lilith. There are uh, calculators for the Black Moon Lilith here. All right. Taurus could be significant. Leo, Scorpio. These could all be like placements in your Black Moon Lilith. Could be Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, North Node. All right. But Ascension here. Ascension. You may be realizing that you have to ascend. To clear up your finances this is what this is looking like in the dark or in the red yeah so you definitely walked away i'm here in the nick of time now you could be in an environment where the weather changed or you may be noticing the weather change uh you know you could be a public speaker or you have a prophetic word prophetic word <laughs> also what I'm getting. You may have been getting guided by uh, Universal Life Force Source, uh, Allah, okay, the God, whatever it is you're in alignment with. You were getting like uh, telepathic messages or something like that to move forward. It's like you're being guided or you were in the past and you may be realizing that there's some sort of truth that has been revealed, okay? Yeah, it has something to do with about, uh, something to do with an investment, okay? For somebody though, someone's very nervous, okay? Nervous about what you know, or maybe if you're going to invest in them. You can show me what it is I need to see. So somebody was in denial about some information. You may have like prayed on it. You could have asked source uh, what the truth was, or maybe you are being guided to do so. And then, you know, I feel the strong need to say, once you ask, you got to believe it. <laughs> like you got to. You got to believe what you are hearing. And for some of you, you need to say the God, okay? Not thy, because there's like word like word manipulation that's taking place. For some of you, you are uh, teaching or reading out of an old paradigm. So it's not in alignment with the shift. You can show me what it is I need to see. Ninth house. Yeah, so we're talking about travel, okay? And we're also talking about your heart space. I feel like the further you travel away from this distorted energy, somebody that you have a soul tie with, the clearer your vision is. You may be noticing that, especially if you're traveling traveling in this person's direction or they're traveling towards you. Uranus, you may have been in denial. You have to show me what it is or somebody is. Okay, yeah. You know, for some of you, your, your wishes was was granted here. Okay, but you have a fear of change or a fear of success. You may not feel like that because you have to release something. It's like releasing, you know, stagnant energy, right? Yeah. You may have been trying to heal something with this individual. Virgo is significant. You may feel like something is getting old, okay? Or what somebody's doing is getting old. Somebody could be trying to placate you. You could be, yeah, you, you could be definitely all in your head. 
You could be an Aries or you're dealing with the Aries here. But this is like, you know, divine masculine energy. You don't necessarily have to be an Aries to be in this energy. But this is somebody that is like a CEO, an independent contractor, okay? This is somebody that is resilient, okay? They do a lot of traveling, okay? They make a lot of moves. This is a mover and a shaker here. Okay, so we're talking about a contract. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, why is this here? Uh, this could be your support system or your foundation. For some of you, you may have had like a release of energy, stagnant energy, or your heart space was open. Okay, possibly by a message. You could have somebody that's not liking that. Okay, so somebody could be like doing some sort of research. Okay, in the spiritual realm, you may not know that this person is into that. Okay, Gemini could be significant, or this is a contract here, a soul tie. Either show me what it is. Oh, yeah, somebody may have been trying to break it. Yeah, mm. I'll be mindful of messages here because sometimes people take like bits and pieces of my message and they run with it. So be mindful of that. Some of you, you may have been connecting with somebody that's doing that, or this is you. So we're definitely picking up on a healer. The sixth house is significant. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is somebody that you need to work with or invest in is what I'm getting. So this may be like this. This could have been like a spiritual download that you received. All right. But for others of you, this is like a routine. You need to like, like break the monotony is what I'm getting. Transformation. Why is this here? Yeah. How you think? Okay, your solar plexus, your cycle is uh, significant. You may have been uh, with someone that was very controlling, all right? Uh, somebody has attachment issues, okay? You could be oversensitive to the environment is also what I'm getting. For some of you, you may be celibate, and I don't mean celibate and keep a bit. <laughs> I mean abstinence. You may be, you know, refraining here, all right? And this is how you're getting your strength back, is you're dealing with somebody that is trying to control you through... Uh, the lower, the, your lower nature here, okay? Especially if you are a Scorpio, uh, you know, somebody could be a Leo, a Cancer again, or this is like somebody that you have a, a family with that's doing like some projection, maybe using some form of occult studies to do so. Yeah, you got Scorpio here. If you show me what it is I need to see. <laughs> Gemini energy, third house. Uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius in the third house, or Gemini, okay, Aquarius. Is, all these people... Signs are on this board. So if this this table, oh, you can actually have something on a board or a board member is significant. All right, so there was some sort of tower by what was communicated or maybe you blocked off this person. All right, so yeah. And I'm hearing in the nick of time. All right, so this was a contract. Maybe you didn't sign it or maybe you're wishing you didn't. Maybe you're wishing that you did not sign it. You can show me what it is I need to see. Somebody's trying to confuse you. Seventh house, yeah, partnership. So for some of you, this message is surrounding your seventh house. We're talking about justice being restored in your relationships and or your par uh, your partnerships, okay? But this is also speaking about open enemies, Okay. Either show me what it is I need to see. You may not realize that, but going forward, you're going to find out with uh, the Black Moon Lilith there. Okay, that's the crossroads. Somebody may be fearful of you knowing their secrets or something that they did in secret. The South, yeah. So this is like people that you hobnob with, you celebrate with, or something like that. Somebody, yeah, this is about your vision, a vision that you created um, or you started manifesting in the past. And there could be a contract here. Okay. Either show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, so this is about your circle of support. Okay, you feeling supported here. For some of you, there's a victory. As you're about to meet your match, or maybe you already are, are um, in proximity. <laughs> If you're in proximity of your match or maybe you're connecting with this person telepathically, a message is significant. For some of you, you may see some feathers or some leaves. Something is going to fall out the sky that's going to give you a, a sign here. Either show me what it is I need to see. Oh, okay. 
So for, some, for somebody, though, this is a distorted masculine, okay? Um, you may be questioning, is this person talking or giving messages to someone that they have a child with? Okay. And I keep getting null and void. Yeah, the 12 house, South No. This is somebody from the past. This was like a past life uh, debt that needed to be paid. Okay, and somebody may be fearful, fearful of something coming out uh, or something that they did in secret. Uh, if you're this masculine energy, you could be a throne, especially if you're a elect one. Okay, um, but it's like very important that you watch your temperature going forward because you already have a victory and somebody's trying to project some negativity on you. So your image, your image, the way you appear to others is very important at this time. Okay. I feel like your circle of support is not supporting you. Okay. Uh, somebody may also be having travel travel issues. Somebody may call you and tell you that they need you for something is also what I'm picking up here. If they show me what it is, I need to see. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> so this could be somebody that you have a contract with. Now, you may consider this person a friend, but for some of you, this is a friend of me or an open enemy. Okay. Somebody could also be, they, you know, I'm, I'm picking up that energy of flunky. You may be questioning, is someone sleeping with somebody that you have a contract with and or a child? Why is this love energy here, please? Venus is Taurus, Libra energy. Oh. <laughs> this person used something to get in a contract with you. All right. And they're fearful of you knowing. For somebody, though, you may not even know how you got in this contract. And it has something to do with intimacy. I feel like mm, somebody sent is significant. Okay. You may have felt like, give it time. This person will grow on you. A pet is significant. Somebody may be questioning where a pet is. Yeah. But somebody's trying to look to see. Um. Gauging your temperature, okay? So they may not, they may be questioning if you watch me, if you believe in what I'm saying, or this is you, okay? And you're trying to figure out how to how to present an obstacle here to keep somebody from transforming. But that transformation is already there, okay? And you'll know if this is you because when you this person contacts you, it puts you in a, in a dark place here. Okay, so if somebody's not ready to see the truth or the, for the truth to be revealed, um, this person may feel like they got an empty victory or something. Vegetables are significant. Okay, health is significant. That's also what I'm getting. You may have been getting guided by uh, Universal Life Force Source, uh, Allah. Okay, the God, whatever it is you're in alignment with, you were getting like uh, telepathic messages or something like that to move forward. It's like you're being guided or you were in the past and you may be realizing that there's some sort of truth that has been revealed. Okay, yeah, it has something to do with about uh, something to do with an investment. Okay, for somebody, though, someone is very nervous, okay, nervous about what you know, or maybe if you're going to invest in them. If they show me what it is I need to see. So somebody was in denial about some information. You may have like prayed on it. You could have asked source uh, what the truth was, or maybe you are being guided to do so. And then, you know, I feel the strong need to say, once you ask, you got to believe it. <laughs> like you got to, you got to believe what you are hearing. And for some of you, you need to say the God. Okay, not thigh, because there's like word, like word manipulation that's taking place. For some of you, you are 
teaching or reading out of an old paradigm. So it's not in alignment with the shift. You can show me what it is I need to see. Ninth house. Yeah, so we're talking about travel, okay? And we're also talking about your heart space. I feel like the further you travel away from this distorted energy, somebody that you have a soul tie with, the clearer your vision is. You may be noticing that, especially if you're traveling traveling in this person's direction or they're traveling towards you. Uranus, you may have been in denial. You can show me what it is or somebody is. Okay, yeah. You know, for some of you, your, your wishes was was granted here. Okay, but you have a fear of change or a fear of success. You may not feel like that because you have to release something. It's like releasing, you know, stagnant energy, right? Yeah. You may have been trying to heal something with this individual. Virgo is significant. You may feel like something is getting old, okay? Or what somebody's doing is getting old. Somebody could be trying to placate you. You could be, yeah, you, you could be definitely all in your head. You could be an Aries or you're dealing with the Aries here. But this is like, you know, divine masculine energy. You don't necessarily have to be an Aries to be in this energy. But this is somebody that is like a CEO, an independent contractor, okay? This is somebody that is resilient, okay? They do a lot of traveling, okay? They make a lot of moves. This is a mover and a shaker here. Okay, so we're talking about a contract. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, why is this here? Uh, this could be your support system or your foundation. For some of you, you may have had like a release of energy, stagnant energy, or your heart space was open. Okay, possibly by a message. You could have somebody that's not liking that. Okay, so somebody could be like doing some sort of research. Okay, in the spiritual realm, you may not know that this person is into that. Okay, Gemini could be significant, or this is a contract here, a soul tie. Either show me what it is. Oh, yeah, somebody may have been trying to break it. Yeah, mm. I'll be mindful of messages here because sometimes people take like bits and pieces of my message and they run with it. So be mindful of that. Some of you, you may have been connecting with somebody that's doing that, or this is you. So we're definitely picking up on a healer. The sixth house is significant. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is somebody that you need to work with or invest in is what I'm getting. So this may be like this. This could have been like a spiritual download that you received. All right. But for others of you, this is like a routine. You need to like, like break the monotony is what I'm getting. Transformation. Why is this here? Yeah. How you think? Okay, your solar plexus, your cycle is uh, significant. You may have been uh, with someone that was very controlling, all right? Uh, somebody has attachment issues, okay? You could be oversensitive to the environment is also what I'm getting. For some of you, you may be celibate, and I don't mean celibate and keep a bit. <laughs> I mean abstinence. You may be, you know, refraining here, all right? And this is how you're getting your strength back, is you're dealing with somebody that is trying to control you through... Uh, the lower, the, your lower nature here, okay? Especially if you are a Scorpio, uh, you know, somebody could be a Leo, a Cancer again, or this is like somebody that you have a, a family with that's doing like some projection, maybe using some form of occult studies to do so. Yeah, you got Scorpio here. If you show me what it is I need to see. <laughs> Gemini energy, third house. Uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius in the third house of Gemini. Okay, Aquarius is all these people signs are on this board so if this this table oh you can actually have something on a board or a board member is significant all right so there was some sort of tower by what was communicated or maybe you blocked off this person all right so yeah and i'm hearing in the nick of time all right so this was a contract maybe you didn't sign it or maybe you wishing you didn't make you're wishing that you did not sign it. You can show me what it is I need to see. Somebody's trying to confuse you. Seventh house, yeah, partnership. So for some of you, this message is surrounding your seventh house. We're talking about justice being restored in your relationships and or your par uh, your partnerships, okay? But this is also speaking about open enemies, okay? 
either show me what it is I need to see. You may not realize that, but going forward, you're going to find out with uh, the Black Moon Lilith there. Okay, that's the crossroads. Somebody may be fearful of you knowing their secrets or something that they did in secret. The South, yeah. So this is like people that you hobnob with, you celebrate with, or something like that. Somebody, yeah, this is about your vision, a vision that you created um, or you started manifesting in the past. And there could be a contract here, okay? Either show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, so this is about your circle of support, okay? Are you feeling supported here? For some of you, there's a victory. As you're about to meet your match, or maybe you already are, are um, in proximity. <laughs> maybe you're in proximity of your match, or maybe you're connecting with this person telepathically. A message is significant. For some of you, you may see some feathers or some leaves. Something is going to fall out the sky that's going to give you a, uh, a sign here. Either show me what it is I need to see. Oh, okay. So for, some, for somebody, though, this is a distorted masculine, okay? Um, you may be questioning, is this person talking or giving messages to someone that they have a child with, okay? And I keep getting null and void. Yeah, the 12 house, South No. This is somebody from the past. This was like a past life uh, debt that needed to be paid, okay? And somebody may be fearful, fearful of something coming out. Uh, or something that they did in secret. Uh, if you're this masculine energy, you could be a throne, especially if you're a elect one, okay? Um, but it's like very important that you watch your temperature going forward because you already have a victory and somebody's trying to project some negativity on you. So your image, your image, the way you appear to others is very important at this time, okay? I feel like your circle of support is not supporting you, okay? Uh, somebody may also be having travel travel issues. Somebody may call you and tell you that they need you for something is also what I'm picking up here. If they show me what it is, I need to see. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> so this could be somebody that you have a contract with. Now, you may consider this person a friend, but for some of you, this is a friend of me or an open enemy. Okay. Somebody could also be, they, you know, I'm, I'm picking up that energy of flunky. You may be questioning is someone sleeping with somebody that you have a contract with and or a child. Why is this love energy here, please? Venus is Taurus, Libra energy. Oh. <laughs> this person used something to get in a contract with you. All right. And they're fearful of you knowing. For somebody, though, you may not even know how you got in this contract. And it has something to do with intimacy. I feel like mm, somebody sent is significant. Okay. You may have felt like, give it time. This person will grow on you. A pet is significant. Somebody may be questioning where a pet is. Yeah. But somebody's trying to look to see. Um. Gauging your temperature, okay? So they may not, they may be questioning if you watch me, if you believe in what I'm saying, or this is you, okay? And you're trying to figure out how to how to present an obstacle here to keep somebody from transforming. But that transformation is already there, okay? And you'll know if this is you because when you this person contacts you, it puts you in a, in a dark place here. Okay, so if somebody's not ready to see the truth or the, for the truth to be revealed, um, this person may feel like they got a victory or something. Vegetables are significant. Okay, health is significant.
need to show me what it is I need to see. Somebody's trying to protect their assets here, some sort of investment. Okay. Uh, California could be significant as well. The Bear State. You can show me what it is I need to see. All right, so. Mm, okay, so you was released from something, or somebody released you from something. Take it how it resonates. Okay. So this is somebody that you have something passionate with. Either show me what it is or it's the beginning of something passionate. Either show me what it is. Somebody feels overwhelmed, okay? Or they're troubled. You could be dealing with someone that you feel a traitor, like is a traitor. Or somebody may be accusing you of that. You're honest, why is this here? Either show me what it is I need to see. The ghoster. <laughs> and so, yeah, this has something to do with messages. I keep getting read. Okay. Something was read. You ghosted someone. Maybe you were supposed to do like some sort of presentation, maybe even a film. Something theatrical is also what I'm picking up. The Prince of Cups here. That is someone that does not know how to control their emotions. Okay. The fire. Why is this here? I feel like this person is not aware of their energy. They may have some sort of gift here. Or their imagination runs wild. Somebody lets their imagination run wild. And they don't know. Like they don't know what to feel. <clears throat> or how to feel. Okay, so. So this is somebody trying to overcome some sort of barrier. And, and, and somebody's not able to do so. The shadow is significant. Okay. You may have been released from some sort of karmic debt. Okay. Uh, for some of you, you may be feeling skeptical about investing with this person. Okay. But this is, this is God's timing here. God's plan is significant. Somebody wants you to fear taking this throne or taking the lead maybe even moving forward okay so this is somebody that you should invest in the chariot is cancer energy doesn't necessarily have to be a cancer but this is somebody that's nurturing this is a, this is a throne okay is what i'm getting and you're going to know um you may be speculating or second guessing if you should invest with this person okay but there's going to be some signs i feel like there's red flags well white flags okay <laughs> um that's 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 being presented to you, but you're not you're not paying attention. Okay, I feel like somebody, okay, somebody could be dealing with a a, a nonprofit, but this could also be a profit. Okay, or you may be, but this is speaking about an investment. So this is about you uh, using your discernment here. Okay, so you may see somebody as a muse, or when you. Uh, connect with this person you gain some inspiration you could be a writer or something like that but this is also somebody trying to paint a narrative okay trying to oppress you in some kind of way all right so yeah i feel like you changed your perspective or and or for some of you you're dealing with somebody that's a traitor okay this person may have been isolated at one point what's at the bottom okay so you may be speculating is someone that you are involved with, um, with the same gender. Okay, this could be somebody that you have a child with, is also what I'm getting. All right, so we got Leo here. I feel like somebody is a Cancer Leo cuss, to be honest with you. Okay, yeah. Sagittarius is significant. Sun, moon, or rising for all. So this is a faded situation. All right, somebody may participate in, in extracurricular activities when you travel. That's what I'm picking up, okay? Oh. I'm hearing drama. Drama films. Okay. So the black hole is significant. You can show me what it is I need to see. Okay, so yeah. Now this is about you speaking out. 
All right. You may be connecting with somebody that has androgynous energy. You know, and this, this is somebody that's whole. This is a free spirit. OK, you could also be questioning is this person into the same gender. <laughs> so it, it's like you got to speak. You got to speak like somebody needs to speak to get the answers. OK, uh, this is also about you gaining some sort of clarity because something was transformed already. The butterfly effect is, is significant. Virgo, why is here? Why is this here? Yeah. Mm. So you could be a filmmaker. Okay. It's something that you didn't say that changed the dynamic, uh, dynamic of something. And you may be questioning it. Like, was I supposed to say something? Especially if this is about reaching out to somebody. That's what I'm getting. All right, so you may feel like somebody loves you or is in love with you. You could have picked that up telepathically here. For some of you, you are you're on the money. <laughs> um, six house, six house wise this year, seventh house wise this year. Yeah, um, somebody's spiritual spouse is significant. Okay, so we're definitely talking about somebody getting a wish granted. Something that they wish for a long time ago is what I'm, I'm getting, okay? And so for somebody, you may have, have made a choice here, okay? You could have chose someone that you feel is not for you is what I'm picking up. Seventh house, why is this here? Can you show me what it is? Are you fearful of somebody doing that? Seventh house, why is this here? Oh. Mm. So you're in a contract with somebody that's going to betray you. Or they already did. They're planning to. Okay, so something has to end. You could be a father figure or and or a husband and also a spiritual spouse to someone else. Mars is why is this here? Somebody may know this. This is an individual that's fearful of you knowing or you moving forward because it's something that they did. Something that they did did here. Mars, why is this here? Yeah, love. You have a contract with somebody else, and this person is angry, agitated, aggravated. They all the A's. Triple A could be significant because remember I said earlier, <laughs> somebody. <laughs> okay, but yeah. for somebody though, listen, somebody's messing. If you got all kind of stuff going on in your ride, it's because somebody's trying to manipulate the energy. Now, for some of you, this happened in the past. Okay, something could have came on when you were, were were driving or something like that. And you may have a new car is what I'm picking up. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. If you are in a contract with this person, they're watching you and or they're watching me. And they may be agitated by what they, they would. You could be on vacation or you may be out of town. Okay. And so either they're watching readings, doing readings or something like that. They're trying to gauge your temperature or see what you know. Yeah, they want to know if you're going to cut them off. Okay, and for some of you, you need to cut this person off. This person will use your words against you. Or they're trying to figure out. Now, look, some of y'all, y'all seen. Not, not seen, my bad. Y'all heard the cards drop. Now, I got, I got a whole bunch of cards here on the floor. And this is the card. This is the card that was left. This is what was left on the deck. Okay. So this this is okay. So this is somebody that you had some form of passion with, but this is this is somebody that's not on your level. Okay. This is somebody that's trying to drain your energy. This is why they want you to, you know, get into bed with them. Okay. Scorpio could be significant. This person operates out of passion and or you are a Scorpio. Or somebody involved is could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius as well. Okay. And so this person, you know, they like they're gonna tear up some stuff. Okay. For some of you, you may travel, travel back home, and you may see your house in a disarray. Okay. Um Affirmation, why is this here? Either show me what it is I need to see. Uh, 
Ah, this this manipulated ma manipulated love. Uh, this manipulated love, this stronghold, this whatever this is that somebody don't want to be in, that they trying to transmute. Obviously, you 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 definitely are because um, somebody is like when you get around this person, they're draining. That's why we got this the sixth house here. Okay, and you may feel like you deficient, like you don't eat enough fruits and vegetables or something like that, and it's, that's not what it is. Okay. Ooh, do not eat. Do not eat from this person because this is spiritual. And some of you, you don't, you're not getting it because this is not your comfort zone. This is something that, now I'm not saying that you're not knowledgeable. What I'm saying is this is something that you're not knowledgeable about. You may even be trying to study it. Okay. Or this person is. Keep that in mind. Luck. Luck is on your side. Um, let's see. Mm. Herbs is significant. All right. Whatever it is they, they did or do, they have to be in your environment. Okay. Whatever it is they do, it doesn't last that long. It's short term. This is somebody that is going to snake you. And you're going to gain some sort of clarity. You may have been doubting it. Okay, you're it's like you you when you doubt it, you mess with your your creativity, your sacral and your solar plexus. Now, a lucky charm or heaven sent or angel is significant. After, mm, so people could be gossiping about that. Okay? It's something about something that was hidden. Or somebody thought it was hidden, but it was revealed, possibly by your spiritual spouse. This could have happened in the dream state. Okay, this could be your guides or something like that, right? The glass ceiling is not broken, so this is not a this is not an obstacle that somebody overcame. Affirmation wise, is here. You could be journaling something or composition is significant. Okay. You may gain inspiration from your spiritual spouse. Um, you know, it's something that you're writing. Could be writing about this person. All right. You need to use your intuition. Something is whole. Somebody somebody is whole. Something, something is complete. All right. Um, yeah. For somebody though, you need to you need to write something down, or somebody writes something down. A diary or a journal is significant for some for somebody though. You may have found it, okay? And they're fearful. It's like somebody somebody misplaced something, misplaced something in their home. Oh, okay. This could be like dates, like pregnancy dates. A calculator, like a pregnancy calculator, is significant. Oh. Come on, man. Give me some. Oh, all right. Messages wise, is here. You can show me what it is I need to see. Information coming in. Gossip. People are talking about it in the community. Uh, affair or something. Yeah. Somebody not feeling protected. Somebody in something for assets here. But, you know, somebody's a elect one in this situation. Okay. So you may be figuring out that this was a soul tie here. All right. So this person was chosen to work with you for a short period of time. Okay. You may have met this person where you were in a, in a dark place. You may feel loyal, or like loyalty to this person. But somebody... <laughs> Some or somebody wants loyalty more than love. This may be where you are at right now. All right, you may be searching outside of yourself for loyal uh, for loyalty here. It's not that it's not there. Um, it's not there in the environment that you are in. It's something that you're not seeing clearly. So your money, your finances is significant. 
there's going to be some sort of change if you free yourself. All right. So we're talking about an entrepreneur, a mogul, a tycoon, um, a somebody that's independent. Okay, so we got the whip here. Seduction is significant. I mean, this could be somebody that, you know, reads those type of, uh, uh, I mean, articles. Something about an article here. A possession, like article of possession. So this is somebody that double-crossed you. You're going to realize that, okay, the sun is significant, okay? I feel like somebody's going to realize something when the sun comes up. Yeah, about a, somebody that snaked you. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Cursed Valley is significant. So there's all kinds of signs here. Uh, especially when the, the sun goes down. Okay. Uh, for some of you, it's important for you to state your affirmations in the morning and... Uh, and or at night, or to establish a connection with source, universal life force, source, the God, Allah, you know, I prefer the God, you know, or universal life force, source. Um, the ring in reverse. So this person is fearful that you're going to end something. This is somebody that's trying to create obstacles for you if this is not somebody that you're married to or somebody that you have some like a contract with. Okay, so it, this is something that needs to be released. Uh, let's see. Like this is this is long. This long. So I'm probably saying either why it's so long, I, and I'm saying I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it's long. Oh, I forgot about this here. Oh, so somebody's being led on. Okay. Seeing is seeing is not believing. So something don't something don't taste right. Something don't smell right. Okay. Either show me what it is I need to see. Garlic? Somebody something something has like a like mm -hmm. all right, so something needs to be released. So this is definitely speaking about ascension. Okay. Now some of you you already know. Okay. Because you are a left one. If if somebody is chosen, they're not gonna know. Because they don't know what they told they don't know what they chose for. That's why they encountered you, right? So this is about releasing grief and, and following your bliss. Bliss is something different from blessings, okay? Bliss is something that you don't have to, you've already worked for, okay? So this is like abundance. This is cup, a cup of love overflowing, okay? So it's kind of like you've already received it. Now you got to be receptive to it. Um. To show me what it is on your own higher self. I'm trying to tell you, look, higher self and future. Come on, man. Back to the future is significant here. Okay. So some of you, you met your higher self a long time ago. It's like your 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 mind has to catch up. Okay. So you're not tripping. Okay? You're not tripping. Um Either show me what it is I need to see. The ring, why is this here? Oh. So we got a friend of me here that's giving somebody information. For some of you, this is false information. This may be somebody that you released. Okay. And or blocked or you need to. You need to. Okay, because this is somebody that's going to cloud your judgment. All right, this person is like sending messages of failure to you, okay? Passion, why is this here? You can show me what it is I need to see. So 
So you know somebody that cannot be conquered. They may be realizing that or they realizing that about your person. All right. And this is called this person's uh, an imbalance here. All right. For some of you, this is this was not a harmonious partnership, especially if you have a child with this person. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. You may have felt oppressed or you you felt like you were being handled. For some of you, you write on the money. This was your handler. The unsaid, this person may have never said that they you may feel like you well, how do how did I get involved with this person? Like you may have this like recollection. Like you don't know what made you fall for this person, or you don't know how you got in a contract with this person. You may feel like you never loved this person. Okay. For some of you, you met this person in the realm of chaos and, and uh, confusion. Yeah. So this is like a choice. Mm, you was in the Knight of Wands energy. Okay. Somebody felt like they, they took your power from you. So this is somebody that you laid down with. Okay. So something changed. And it's important for you to like go through your mental Rolodex here. Because you're going to witness. Okay. 2020 is significant. 2019 could be significant. Because this could have been like the year something. The year you met someone. The unsaid, why is this here? You can show me what it is I need to see. Yeah. Um, I feel like somebody was watching you. Okay. They were watching you. And somebody's trying to cause some sort of confusion here. Somebody has some sort of scheme. They don't want you to focus. Yeah, they do not want you to focus on your spiritual spouse or your calling here. So you're being advised to detach. Sue Longs, why is this here? Either show me what it is I need to see. Somebody worried here. You may, mm, this is somebody that thinks they, some, this is somebody that thinks they know you. Uh, they think they know your next move or you think you know this person's uh, next move. And somebody don't know somebody's next move here. And this is this is frustrating because they can't figure out how to snake you. Okay? But somebody's going to get upset here because they're going to see you get a victory. Or this is going to be you. Glass ceiling in reverse. Why is this here? Somebody's on an attempt to try to humiliate you. Or they did that in the past. Because this person, they don't want to accept the truth. This is somebody that felt like... <laughs> if you if you lay down with this person, it may have been only a one-night stand. Okay? And for some of you, it's a story. They're trying to come up with a story here. All right? And so somebody does not want to accept the truth about this person's morals, character. Okay? For somebody, though, this is somebody that you, you got to deal with or somebody that you may be going into a deal with. So be mindful of that. Somebody's trying to figure out how to humiliate you. All right. Um, let's see. I haven't been in this too long. Let me get up out of here and upload this for my stars. Hopefully um, we can divert this, divert from this. Either show me what it is I need to see. Living by example. So we're talking about integrity. This is not a fake it till you make it uh, situation. Ascension is not, oh, I'm going to fake it. It's not, oh, love and light. and this. It's not like that. And people that have been through it already know it. Okay, so this is about critical thinking. Somebody's very critical of you at this time or uh, your spiritual spouse. It's because somebody's, mm, somebody is able to see beneath or through the veil of illusion. Okay, so it's kind of like, mm, you thought it was that, but now nah, it's really this. 
type of energy. So we got, uh, yeah, virtue. Virtue virtue is important for somebody. Okay? Uh, I respect the property of others. So this is somebody that you can't, you can't trust, or this is somebody that is going to mess up your stuff. Are they uh, they trying to figure out how to do so? This person's home may be cluttered. Okay, you may be annoyed by that as well, especially if this is like a um, a real estate investment. Somebody that you have in your home, they may be must. Uh, I was going to say musty, a messy. Let me get up out of here, deuces.